This video will walk you through the Wizard Quick Start Guide. Before you begin, ensure that you've completed the steps outlined in the previous segment, Hardware Quick Start Guide. You can access your router. Your NVR is connected to a display and the wizard is shown on screen. You have a computer with internet access to create a new email account. When you first turn on the NVR, it will automatically boot to the setup wizard. To begin, select your preferred language. Now select the correct video format for your region. Then select the appropriate resolution for your TV, and then select OK to accept the settings. If you select a resolution that's not supported by your display, wait 15 seconds and it will revert back to the previous resolution. The QR code and UID are unique identifiers for your NVR. You can use them later when configuring the Always Safe app. Now, select the Next button. Next, enter a new password with a minimum of six characters and then confirm the password. Use a password that you are familiar with but is not easily known to others. We recommend leaving the Enable Password field enabled. But if you wish to disable the password security, click to remove the check mark. If you want to have the wizard display when booting the NVR, place a check in the box. Now, select the Next button. The default method of connection is AP mode. This allows a wireless connection with your cameras. However, your NVR must be plugged into the router using the provided Ethernet cable to send email alerts, push notifications, and synchronize with its internal clock for remote access. Alternately, you may also select Station Mode if you wish to place your NVR away from your router. In Station Mode, your cameras connect to your router directly via Wi-Fi instead of your NVR. This can be advantageous if your cameras are not conveniently located near your NVR. We'll walk you through the wizard in AP Mode. To learn more about setting up your system in Station Mode, log on to support.swan.com and then search NVW490 Manual. Leave the SSID field at its default setting for now. We recommend that you change this at a later date. Leave the Hide SSID field enabled as it will add an extra layer of security. In the Password field, leave the default password. We recommend that you change this at a later date. In the Channel field, leave the default channel. The IP address, camera name, channel number, and status of each camera connected will be shown. Select the Next button. Now select the appropriate time zone for your region. Then select a 12 or 24 hour menu date format. Next, tap Sync to synchronize the date and time with the time server. Then check to see if the system date and time are correct. Your NVR will periodically sync time automatically. If you see an error message, check your cables and connections. If daylight savings applies to your locale, click DST setting. Then select Enable DST. Then select the amount of time increased by daylight saving time. Then select the start and end times. Now select Apply, then click OK to exit. Now select the Next button. The internal media is pre-formatted when purchased new, so no action is necessary for initial setup. Select the Next button. Your NVR requires a free Gmail, Outlook, or Yahoo email address to send alerts and facilitate password reset requests. We recommend creating an account devoted to your NVR. We'll show you the example using a Gmail account and show you the settings for the alternate account types on screen so you can follow along. Leave the Enable SSL or TLS field as is. In the SMTP server field, select your preferred email provider. In the SMTP port field, input 587. In the sender address field, enter the email address for your account you created. In the sender password field, enter the email account's password. In the recipient's address field, enter up to three email addresses where you wish to receive alerts. In the interval field, select the length of time that will elapse after your NVR sends an email alert before it will send another. In the attachment type field, Select the attachment type you want to receive with email alerts. Now, select Test. If the test is successful, you will receive a notification on the screen. If you received an error, ensure that you entered the correct email address and password, and also check all your cables and connections. Then check the back of the NVR to ensure the LEDs above the Ethernet port are flashing. If not, unplug and replug the cable. You may also want to try a different port on your router. Also, check your email settings to ensure access for less secure apps is enabled.
After receiving a successful test notification, select OK and then Next to continue. To change the camera's name, click on its current name. Then enter a new name. We recommend naming it based on its location. Now, select Finish. Congratulations, your NVR is now ready to record upon motion detection, send email alerts when an event has occurred, and is ready to connect to the Always Safe app. Now you're ready to download the Always Safe app for your Android or iOS mobile device. Watch the segment Always Safe app for more information.